Hi, my name is Joe Braveford, or I go as today's tipple across my social media. And today, I'm gonna to make you a delicious low alcohol cocktail using CrossIp for this January. CrossIp's a perfect product for making low alcohol cocktails because it's got a lot of body, it's full of flavor, so it can replace alcohol in a lot of drinks and it will do a great job of it. But it's also bold enough to stand up on its own when you add a little bit of alcohol as well. For this drink, we wanna start off with a nice glass full of ice. You can use a rocks glass, a highball, or a nice stem glass like this. And we're gonna build this one straight into the glass to keep it easy and minimize the washing up afterwards. So let's start off with 30 ml of our Crossip Pure. This one's got notes of hibiscus and rhubarb. It's got a light bitterness, it's really well balanced and it's perfect in this drink. So 30 milliliters of that into our glass. Now, like I said, this is a low alcohol cocktail. So we are gonna add a little bit of booze to this, but it's gonna be a lot lower than a usual cocktail. To start off, we're gonna add 10 milliliters of an apple cider brandy or a Calvados. Apples pair great with rhubarb in my opinion. And we're gonna be adding more apple later on. Next up, we're making a sort of spritz, so we want a wine element. We're gonna add 10 milliliters of a dry vermouth. So there we go, that's all the booze we're gonna to add to this cocktail. It's super, super low alcohol, but they really help to just highlight some of the flavors in the cross sip and give it a little bit of a boost. Our next ingredient, we're gonna ramp up that apple flavor. We've got an apple cordial. So this is equal parts of fresh Granny Smith apple juice. It's already got some lovely acidity to it. And then we sweetened it. And finally added just a touch of citric acid to give it a kind of pop and give you that mouth watering effect. We're gonna add 15 milliliters. And now to finish this off, give it some effervescence, give it a little bit of bubbliness. We're gonna to top it up with two different things. We're gonna to top it with soda and non-alcoholic sparkling wine. The sparkling wine you pick is up to you. I chose a rosé because I think the color is gonna be beautiful. So go about halfway with that. And then the rest of the way with just soda water. And there you go, you've got this beautiful blush pink color. We're gonna finish it off with a nice slice of apple. And that's it, a delicious low alcohol cocktail. Perfect if you're looking to moderate your drinking a little bit more this January. Cheers. That's really delicious. You get this soft kind of herbal bitterness in the finish from the cross -it. You get this lovely bright zingy apple flavor and it's all really well integrated, really well rounded and super well balanced. This is a drink I can enjoy any time of the year, but it is perfect if you're looking to lower your alcohol intake. 